Suffragist and Zombies When I first moved into my studio at the Workhouse Art Center, I heard the stories of the poor treatment of suffragists who were imprisoned here in 1917. I read about how radical women's voting rights were, so radical that it caused men to rise up, push women down, fire weapons at them, and imprison them. It seemed to me that these anti-suffragists were acting just like zombies, biting and hurting without thinking. Thus this painting was born. This painting depicts the Night of Terror, November 14, 1917. On that evening, suffragists arrested for picketing in front of the White House were sent to the Occoquan Workhouse, where they were subject to a number of abuses, including beatings, stress positions, and forced feedings. The painting shows the women being forced to strip and shower. A prison matron, depicted as a zombie, watches while a black prisoner is forced to hold the clothes of the suffragist. The buck of the feet held by the suffragist represents one of the hazards of imprisonment. The women prisoners already at the workhouse often suffered from poor health and hygiene as they all shared one bar of soap. Doris Stevens wrote that one woman had opened syphilis sores on her legs.